Когда-то давно мне приснился сон. Long time ago I had a dream about what it seemed to be the end of days. If briefly, all the buildings disappeared, as well as the majority of people. Only nature and the train tracks had been left. I felt good about it. There was no fear, no anxiety. Recently, my seven-year-old daughter told me about her dream. In her dream, the buildings disappeared, and there were trees instead. She also described it as the end of the world. In her dream, all of us were together, our whole family. Could this mean that it will be our upcoming transition, or will it be this way for all the people with a magic consciousness? Because many of those whom I know with a deep connection to the Orthodox Egregor dream about the end of the world in the form of a flaming lava, or an atomic bomb that will destroy everything, bringing everything to its end. Is it their reality? Yes, colleague Svetlana, you're absolutely right. Within our mental consciousness, our worldview, the transition, is commonly associated with the fact of dying, death or any other type of transformation which would somehow inevitably affect biological existence. Your dreams have shown that your perception of the impact on biological existence is mostly associated not with the destruction, but rather transformation and creation. This is a magic and pagan way of thinking. Practically, you saw in your dreams what was described as the period of the world's renaissance after Ragnarok. Take Scandinavian mythology as an example. Then fields unsowed, bear ripened fruit, all ills grow better. And there will be only two people left, Liv and Liftrasir, whose names mean life and the one who loves life. In Christian eschatology, in Judaic eschatology, and all other Abrahamic eschatologies, the transition is associated with the concept of Armageddon, which is the judgment day and the destruction of the world. And in the Bible itself, in the Torah, the way it will happen is described in great detail. There will be a flaming lava with sulfur rivers and everything that has to do with the poisoning of water, poisoning of earth, including all of the celestial punishment. It's their mental structure. They don't see the transformation in any other way. Any type of change means a catastrophe to them. And it is quite possible that this will be the way things will happen to them. In your case, everything will be different. Can this happen simultaneously when people are present within the same environment, including the physical one? Yes, it can. As strange as it may seem. The bigger the amount of rigid structures on how things should be present in your consciousness, the higher the probability that things will be just as expected. The higher the number of totally invincible statements based on dogmas, dogmas of faith in particular, the higher the probability that that's how everything will occur in their life. There are people that have no mental eschatology, so their event field will be completely different. It's possible that they won't notice anything at all. They will simply wake up in a totally different world and witness this consecutive and gradual transformation which will slowly occur before our eyes, without experiencing any cataclysms. This is quite possible. Everything depends on the way this transition is embedded within your mental body. I'll repeat, if you already possess a ready-made worldview which is being held in place by egregorial fears of infernal sufferings, this will be the way it will happen. If your mental picture is different, then things will happen following a completely different mental picture of the world. To each their own.